Hi, everyone. I'm Audra Streetman. I work as a security strategist at Surge, the strategic security research team at Splunk. I'm here today to tell you about some interesting new research about ransomware encryption speeds from one of our team members, Shannon Davis. It's become clear over the last few years that ransomware is a threat to organizations of all sizes. There's a lot of research out there about ransomware intrusion vectors and dwell times, but very little data about the actual speed of encryption. In fact, the most comprehensive data we could find was from the ransomware groups themselves. The Lockbit ransomware group advertises on the dark web that their malware encrypts files faster than any other criminal group. Shannon decided to test these claims so we could see for ourselves how fast 100 ransomware binaries each encrypted nearly 100,000 files. That's nearly 53 gigabytes of data. For each ransomware family test, Shannon created 10 AWS Elastic Compute instances. Each ransomware family had 10 binaries, each of which ran on its own Windows host. The results were then forwarded to a central Splunk instance for analysis. Shannon carried out the experiment using a modified version of Splunk's open source attack range. He executed the ransomware using a remote PowerShell script on the domain controller. He also enabled object level auditing on each host to generate events as the ransomware encrypted files. This is how he tracked the encryption speed. Our research found encryption speeds are similar to those published by Lockbit, which had a median encryption duration of nearly six minutes. Babook had the slowest binary, which took about three and a half hours. Based on these results, the median encryption time across all ransomware families was nearly 43 minutes. This time frame is likely beyond the capabilities of most organizations to respond effectively once encryption is underway. The goal of this experiment is to provide actionable data to help blue teams inform their defenses. And our research doesn't stop here. We hope to explore encryption patterns, lateral movement, and the similarities between ransomware binaries in the future. For more information about this research, you can find a link to Shannon's white paper in the YouTube description. And for more information about Surge and our latest research, just visit splunk.com slash surge.